Ciao bedazzi, today I'm gonna show you St. Francis Church. We're in the marsh area, we're still in the city center, but this church is slightly different from the rest. There's a Byzantine vibe that gives that Mediterranean feeling and I'm sure you're gonna love it. Right from the outside you notice immediately how beautiful and different this church is. The red bricks, the copper domes, but it's inside where some of its best treasures are. The mosaics inside tell so many different stories and are so beautifully made that they're worth a visit. Let's take a look. There's a little bit of Italy in this church as well, because the mosaics were designed by Professor Umberto Noni. Umberto Noni was one of the most prominent experts in mosaics at the time, it was the late 40s. But then they were put in place by another Italian artist, Marco Tullio Monticelli. The Christ Panacrator is probably the biggest example of Byzantinism in this church. Panacrator translates into Almighty, and that's the feeling people normally experience when facing this overwhelming artistic wonder. The icon, traditionally inside a semi-dome, depicts Christ in a somewhat sad expression, with his right hand raised. There are two very famous Christ Pantocrator in Sicily, one in Morreale and the other one in Cefalù. A super cool thing about this church is that the light is absolutely natural, it's not artificial. It comes from the stained glass windows and from the rooftop. Look at that. Over five and a half million pieces of marble and glass were inserted by Monticelli and his team to create the mosaics. Once the church was finished in 1953, the court examiner described it as a magnificent work of art and architecture. 